All right, we're back to recording. I'm starting the second can. Didn't really want that to happen. And it's just a matter of uh, working it back into position. Um. So why do I lock these better than plaster? Really not as messy as plaster once you get a hang of using the foam. Sorry, I didn't mean for the thing to slip out of my hands. I've got a seam right here that the line of sight from viewers of the layout is going to be from where I'm standing. So, as long as this edge is a little bit higher than that edge is, I'm going to be able to get away with that. And down here, I'm going to have a retaining wall coming up so that this fits right in behind the retaining wall. But as you can see, you get almost none on your hands. Any excess I'll trim off when it dries. The main thing I'm concerned about here is this seam, because I've not done a seam like this before. that back but I need for it to adhere and hold it batting down anything you want to protect you just want to protect with plastic or that's wax paper over there sorry the video is so long um, one man operator here so not really a process you want to stop once you start it my rough feeling is after maybe 10 minutes of working with it the majority of the expansion has occurred and pushing on it seems to retard the expansion to a certain extent but uh, just trying to give folks a, another option besides all the traditional methods of using cardboard and plaster and been there and done that now I'm trying to build things that are way a lot less and I do happen to really like how well this uh, the batting takes the weathering and uh, scenery materials which is on the internet um, there's a gentleman uh, I'll have to get his name and number and give him the credit here uh, so that's it for today um, give it a try it's relatively inexpensive spray foams about three four dollars a can and batting is inexpensive and pink insulation is pretty cheap Thanks for watching.